So let me just explain to you what's going on here real quick. We got a few tools here, and we about to take this bad boy, the G920, apart. Uh, thank God that this, I just got this uh, GT Omega Apex stand, and it's an awesome stand for the price point. And I'll put all these links in the description of this video in case you want to get any of these things, including this toolkit. I think it's not even 20 bucks. I've had it for over two years. And if you're building PCs and getting into whatever you're getting into, this bad boy comes in handy. Anyway, with that being said, the foot pedals, the braking, I notice when I'm in a set of Corsa, uh, Corsa 5, uh, 5M, GTA, whatever, Grand Theft Auto, the car was like, and I'm like, what the hell? So the car is going like this, and I'm pretty sure if you're here, this happened to you. And then when it'll go, it'll go, and I'm like, what? I'm depressed now at this point. I this little yellow thing. Follow this. This is where I'm at. This little yellow thing is where that's me walking around here. Whoop, ramp. I put it all the way up. Now I went down. You see? I put it at a hundred. Now I went down. That should not be happening, buddy. That should be still not blue. You get it? That shouldn't be blue, bro. Right? This should not be blue, bro. Can I put it down? Now let's press it. Pickle. And it stays there. No, bro, we can't have that. I don't know how you guys put your brake sensitivity. Some people have it at 100, at a lot. Or whatever. Let's see. We put it at fifty. At fifty, where does it go? That, that's still uh, 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 that right there stops your car a lot, bro. Because it was messing mines up. Let's go to my settings right here. This was my settings. It's still on my settings. Me app. <laughs> what made me put me app? <laughs> me app. Me app. So yeah, this is bad. Let's get this up out of here. Let's see if we can fix this bad boy right now, and I'm gonna show you guys. How we did it. How we did it. All right, bro. Stay paused. Jesus. Hopefully, we'll be able to fix this bad boy. You think I'll do it? Even though I'm upgrading this anyway, this, this whole thing is not going to be here. But why would I want that like that for now? We need to get to the plate. You understand? But in about the next uh, week or so, I'm either going to get the Thrustmaster, the Fantax, or the whatever, whichever one is that. Like super realistic with the belt, uh, uh, with the belt and all that. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. I think I was really wanted to get the Logitech G Pro. It's a thousand something. So I don't know. I probably get the Logitech G Pro. I don't want to get the Logitech G923 because look, it looks exactly the same, and we don't do the same. We do different. The G29. The colors, the way it looks, is awesome. I ain't gonna lie, I like that too. But what are we going here for? Colors or performance? I don't know. I don't know, buddy. You hear that? It's my mic don't pick up too much sound because I got it set up professional. <laughs> but let's go. Let's see if we could get this bad boy unscrewed. Well, now I don't know what I did with the thing, bro. Jesus Christ, Tommy, what's going on? Gotta get it together. All right, it's not there. It's not there. The little skinny. Oh, there. So now let's remove this. Let's remove the wheel. If you don't have patience, don't do this because you're going to be mad, mad. It's 
hot out here in New York City. I don't have the AC on because it'll be noise over the mic. I don't even have the AC on in my living room. So it's a little humid in here. So I'm about to turn the AC on and shut this off while I do this. But you got to be uh, it's like you're working on an actual car, bro. You see the sweat in the back of my neck like Jesus Christ, my guy. Yeah, so we finally got this bad boy out. Now we could. Yep. Damn, I didn't want to do all that. But I just want to take this one out. The actual, uh, the pedals. I don't want to unplug it. Maybe it was unplugged. Nah, it can't be that. Like, you know, like loose? Nah, couldn't be that. Couldn't be that. Couldn't be that. Too much. Which one is the actual pedal I keep forgetting? All right here. Still unscrew those. I still got some screws in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two screws. opened in here there's two screws one there and one somewhere over here I don't know if you can see them but they're in there so don't forget those in there and all you got to do is go like this press on it it usually opens but if you got to put a little force to pull it back you could go ahead just be careful. You're not going to damage it anyway. Pretty sturdy. It's right here. Bop, 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 bop. Let's get them out. Whoa. Boop. Now for the magic. Well, obviously, there's more screws than what I actually figured. There's about six more screws. <laughs> and they're right here. And then you got to take off two screws, I think, on each pedal. I think it's two, yeah. On each pedal. You got to remove the pedal because it blocks the cover from coming out. Pop. I'm going to do all that. Then I'm going to come back when it's open. I'm pretty sure you know how to unscrew things, right? We don't need two hours of a video. How do you unscrew it, right? <laughs> Again, this is where this toolkit starts to show, show itself out because we need it extra uh like a allen key type of situation some secret -y keys and i didn't have them no no one sent it and no other things that i've bought but they was definitely in there and you need that for the pedals Awesome. Perfect. Look at that big screw that come out of there. Magic. Even has a blue tip. Ha Maybe I want to keep this on the pedal, the screws, like keep it inserted in there so you remember that those are to the pedal. You can start miss, uh, screwing things up. <laughs> I'll keep them just like that. I'm about to change the pedals anyway on both of my setups, the new one I get and this one. They're like red and black pedals or yellow and black. There's a kick that you buy. I'll actually put the link in the description also to those pedal covers. Uh, pedal mods. Yeah, let's call them now. Magic. What? Like that. But damn, I... But God, I didn't know they was going to be this filthy, my guy. 
Let's get to it though. G920 pedal. So, uh, mind you, this is a setup that I had picked up in the Bronx from someone, this girl played. He's a super in a building, and I came. Oh, let me get that. And I rescued him, <laughs> right? He just had him sitting there. He said he used him like once or twice of that. But sitting around, collects dust or nasty creatures going inside of there and all that. So when I bring it, I had never opened it up or I was waiting to. When I opened this thing up, this thing was filthy, disgusting. You're seeing it here kind of sort of way better, just like probably the metal needs to be shined up a little bit, if anything, from just sitting there. But overall, they came out pretty new. Uh, I would think so. I ran them under water with soap and all that, so I don't suggest that you probably do that if you're not being really cautious. But uh, the whole main thing was to take them out of here, or should I say open up <laughs> the brake uh, pedal and see what was the problem because in my G-Hub, it was not working as I showed you guys before. So I went, opened it up, unscrewed it, and you're going to see that in a minute with that toolkit. That toolkit was amazing. So inside of there, there's supposed to be a spring. And a lot of people, it comes with like a little rubber and people take the rubber piece out. So this is the spring that's in there. And the brake pad that I put in there. Now, this spring here is an actual spring that you buy separately. This spring didn't come with this brake kit. So what we're doing is we're turning the spring around, trying to see if something was loose. But I figured it out. It could be there's a little tape with a stapler or a staple pen, whatever you want to call it. It's in there. You see, it's like a white piece of paper, and it says break. And any little thing that pinches in between those springs, remember, you're pressing that thing mighty hard. It could cause for the break to show up as it's always pressed down, or it could stay pressed. And I think that's what was happening. Either that, or they just needed to be cleaned out, because I sprayed them down with 191% uh, alcohol. I was about to say 100%. But that's the spring. It's an awesome spring. It feels super realistic. Uh, there's no metal, I mean, no rubber uh, mod or nothing, whatever you want to call it, in there. I didn't stick anything else in there. It's just the spring, like, pop. And not for nothing, with that spring in there, this thing feels super realistic to me i don't know what those rubbers do for people <laughs> well <laughs> that don't sound right but a lot of people incorporate this rubber little square thing and they stick it in there and all that i don't know what that does but this spring was awesome